At Donald Trump's rally kicking off the fall campaign season in Billings, Montana, on September 6, the president's opening remarks struck just the right chord with thousands of supporters, including a 10-year-old superfan and a woman wearing a Russian fur hat in protest of the Mueller investigation. While the plaid shirt guy, who took Twitter by storm when pics from the rally went viral was none too thrilled with Trump's verbiage, he was not the only rally-goer making a statement, when he became president, I started paying attention, 16-year-old Trump supporter Caleb Van Doren, a student at Park City High School, told Teen Vogue. Van Doren's best friend, fellow Park City High student Nicholas Jackwit, added that Trump was a big reason why he got into politics. This rally marked the president's second trip to Montana in just two months. He has been stumping for Republican Senate candidate Matt Rosendale, a real estate developer from Maryland and the current state auditor, who is seeking to oust Democratic incumbent John Tester. Tester is a third-generation Montana farmer and a frequent target of the president's. Trump has taken a liking not only to Tester's opponent but also to the Montanans who elected him with a double-digit margin in 2016, saying at the rally, From the Rocky Mountains to the Great Plains, the people of Montana love our country. In stark contrast to traditional battleground states like Ohio and Florida, Montana has consistently voted Republican in almost every presidential election since 1968. Many Montanans, both liberal and conservative, are now wondering, why does President Trump find this particular Senate race so important? In an interview with Teen Vogue at Trump's second Montana rally, CNN chief White House correspondent Jim Acosta explained, this president is very worried about what's going to happen in the midterms, Acosta said. If Democrats take control in November of the House and Senate, Trump's legislative agenda is going to come to a screeching halt. In other words, Trump wants every red seat he can get come November 6, so he's keeping an eye on the Montana Senate race. Because Trump has been campaigning especially hard for the Republican nominee, there has been speculation as to whether his motivations are more personal than political. His involvement grew after taking umbrage in April when Tester, the ranking member on the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee, refused to vote to confirm former White House physician and Admiral Ronnie Jackson as head of the Department of Veterans Affairs. Trump even called for Tester to resign after the debacle. What Tester did to Admiral Jackson should never, ever be allowed, Trump told his supporters on September 6. His reputation was attacked, and all of those horrible things that were said about him turned out to be false. The Washington Post fact-checked that claim is misleading, in part because an investigation is still being conducted by the Defense Department. Sources from inside the White House and among the president's allies tell Acosta the Trump administration is not only deeply concerned about the possibility of Democrats taking control of committees but also about the likelihood of impeachment proceedings. He's going to campaign all the way until these November midterms to try and prevent all of that from happening, Acosta said. With a Democratic governor, as well as incumbent senators from both sides of the aisle, the challenge facing Trump in Montana is its vote as traditional person over party rationale. Hoping to motivate his base in a state he carried by 20 points, the president is investing significant political capital in the treasure state. Rosendale, a former majority leader in the Montana state legislature, has demonstrated agreement with Trump on everything from repealing and replacing the Affordable Care Act to protecting Second Amendment rights. In conjunction with one of the president's greatest political achievements to date, successfully appointing Justice Neil Gorsuch to the Supreme Court, Rosendale is an ardent supporter of Trump's current nominee, Brett Kavanaugh. For red state Democrats like John Tester, voting with his party against Kavanaugh could cost valuable swing votes in November. True to form, Trump has taken it a step further, saying, obstructing these justices means you are going to lose your Second Amendment. Much to Rosendale's delight, Tester sided with his party in voting against Justice Gorsuch. He has yet to confirm his stance on Judge Kavanaugh's nomination.
In a statement to Teen Vogue, a representative of the tester campaign did little to clarify the senator's position. John is paying close attention to Judge Kavanaugh's confirmation hearings and looks forward to meeting with him, who asked some tough questions, said Press Secretary Luke Jackson. The race is dominating the airwaves in the state, from a Rosendale ad showing Tester riding a bike with Nancy Pelosi to the Democratic incumbent flaunting his two-fingered hand, the result of a farming accident, for the cameras. But there is no clear projected winner of the midterm race here yet. While the nonpartisan Cook Political Report cites the outcome is likely in favor of Tester, a conservative poll found Rosendale leading within the margin of error. Whatever happens between now and November 6, there is a lot at stake here, and Trump knows that in this election, you aren't just voting for a candidate, he said at the rally. You are voting for which party controls Congress. Get the Teen Vogue take. Sign up for the Teen Vogue weekly email. Want more from Teen Vogue? Check this out.